I am speaking to you from the cabinet room at 10 Downing Street. This morning, the British ambassador in Berlin handed the German government a final note stating that unless we heard from them by 11 o'clock, that they were prepared at once to withdraw their troops from Poland, a state of war would exist between us. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. Come on. Is it the goddamn hole? Soldier gave me some sweets. All right. 
I thought I told you not to speak to strangers. He's not a stranger, his name's Caleb. That right, is it? What happened to the rest of them then? You ate them, didn't you? Yeah. Better eat those. Hey Winifred, how are you? Hello darling, how are you? I'm good, look what I just got from the Graces. Where did you get all this from, Leo? Oh, you know, you've got to keep in with the grocers now, Win. There's uh, extra reserves for some special customers. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I might do. Oh, Mr. what? Mr. Fiddler's bile, it's disgusting. You're a married woman, Neil. I know, but I've got to find all the new recipes. Like, what do you expect me to do? Look, I'll get more butter and extra egg powder that way. But I thought you was working at Mission Munitions Factory. Yeah. Well, I don't know where you find the time, really. We. It's about two minutes. All oh, right. And oh, these for me too, are they? Give me those. Not for your eyes. Who size they for then? My patties! Come on, spit it out. Oh, you always get me, right. <laughs> I've been um, running to this dance right? and uh, befriending this American soldier. Befriending, eh? Needs it. She's uh, just looking a bit thin, you know. Bye, babe. <laughs> bye. Oh, bye. See ya. Snobby cow. Go and stew my eels. Stew your eels? Yeah. You're more than eels stewed. Get out of it, get home. Sorry about that, Wendell. It's alright. I sort you out a chop for you and the kidneys. Don't worry, you put me in the shop and you'll tell me. I'll tell you what. Can't you do a nice little job for me? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Come over after the shop shuts about six, mate. Eh? Alright, Mr. Fiddler, I've I will. I've got a nice little job for you to do. Like, like what? You can polish me buns. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah, you can use a car. Look, William, I know, man, it ain't gonna take long. Besides, Christmas is coming. I'll sort you out a nice chicken. Hey. Hey, hey buddy. Hello. How are you? How are you going? Glad you smoked a bag of bass. I'll bring that pipe, mate. Keep that pipe. Who's this young lady? Howdy, girl. Hi. Alright. Got some chocolate? Made some American. It's good. Here you go, ma'am. Chocolate for ages. Enjoy it. What's your name? I'm Caleb. Alright. Yeah, not too bad. So he's a big he, he sucks, doesn't he? I'm sorry. 
Yeah. 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 Fine, you're underpaid, undersexed, and under church. Yeah, I'm going to make a difference. Yeah, I'm going to make a difference. Yeah, have a go. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Don't forget. See you later off the dog. Remember, mum's the word. Yes, sir. Tell her, Mum's the word, right? Yeah. All right, Mr. Fiddler. Hello, girls. How's it going? Not bad, not bad. Cold enough for you? Yep. Yeah, don't worry. I'll give you something to warm you up later. Mm. Mum said, can you bring around the sausages tonight? Tell her I'll bring around off the dog, and I'll bring them around the back passage. Oh, thank you. Hello, love. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Mr. Fiddler. I've got something for you. Wait here. Really? Yeah. Take that out. What is it? Put it in this kitchen window. Old man overseas. Know what I mean? I don't know who you think I am, Mr. Fiddler, but you've definitely got the wrong impression about me. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. I think we should go, don't you? Bye, Fiddler. Listen, ladies, don't forget where you get your meat from. Few blokes been hit. They're in hospital now. Cold, wet, bumps in trenches. Haven't seen any real action yet, but heard some horrible stories of the fellas who have. Don't alarm you, sir. I won't explain any further. I had a few days off a week ago, so me and some of the lads went to Paris. Oh, it was nice to get a hot meal and sleep in a warm bed rather than a freezing cold trench. I'd rather been with you. You know that, don't you? I've been thinking of you all the time. I miss you very much. Can't believe it's been three years already. Missed Christmases and birthdays. Hope Bess understands. I feel terrible that I'm missing her growing up. I know it sounds odd, but I hope I might get hit so I'll come back to you. I miss your touch. If there's been anybody else, I don't think I could take that. Please be true to me as I am to you. I'll write you as soon as I'm able to. Hope you still feel the same and the time and war hasn't changed your feelings towards me. Take care and remember, even if you don't hear from me, I love you both very much. I'll be home soon. Hopefully. On action. Hey, when? How are you? you alright? Too bad. I just I just came in. I saw you here. I thought I might say hi. Yeah, I just I came in to say thank you for the food that you left. Oh right. Yeah, yeah. I I wasn't sure where to get you. I thought that was meant to be light. So. Oh, it was very kind. Much yeah? appreciated. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, I've, I've kind of. There's a dance coming up soon, and I was wondering if you might want to be on my date. Oh my god, I'd love to go. Really? Yeah. Good. Ooh. Give you a little swirl first, make sure you can dance. I'm gonna embarrass myself. <laughs>
Daddy Jerry's not a North End Tunnel. Oh, that's a I gave you my last gun a while ago. Now run along now. Hey! Where are you? God damn it, Gil, where are you? Yankee, mate. How do you like your present? Yeah. What's yeah. it got to do with you? Yeah. How about some prime chops, eh? All cut up in my own hands, smothered in my lovely, tasty sauce. Very sweet. They were from you, were they? Yeah, of course they were. Oh, right. You're disgusting. Ah, Get off. You know you love it, darling. Anyway. There's your Yankee bag. You don't have to be so rude, you know. Lily's a lovely girl. Yeah, is she really? I gave her some sausages the other day. I bet you did. Yeah, nice bit of stuffing and all. Know what I mean? I help her out. She helps me out. But I win. You still putting the Ovo boxes in the window, darling? I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I bet you don't. But I win. See you later. Baby, you alright? Yeah. Oh, Winnie. What's wrong? It's Daniel. He's dead. What? I know he died. I am Bell. In North Africa. He was shot by a sniper. Oh, oh no, God, Lil, I'm so sorry. He's okay. He's okay, right? I am for his country. What to say? It's going to be so hard without him. But I know it's my fault. No, it's not your fault, but No, no, it's not. I've been untrue. And I know it's God's way of punishing me for all my wrongdoing. Lily, it's not true. It's just wartime. Baby, it's just war. It's what we have to do. It's what we always say, isn't it? <laughs> sort this out, alright? I sort this out. I don't like to see a cry baby. I've got three kids. What else was I supposed to do? The rations weren't enough. I tried my best. I really did. It's not your fault. You can't blame yourself, baby. You can't. Bill. <laughs> And do you know what the worst thing is? We were together since we were like 17 years old and after all these years it just we just grew apart. It's alright, it's alright, this thing's happened, you know. This thing's happened. I told him that you know, because it's a war and he does something with someone else that I don't understand. Because I'm a. Well, you no, know don't what they call say me. it. Don't say it. You're not. You're not. Come on. Let's go. Come on. We we'll sort this out. Baby steps, okay? Come on. Win. Love two men. Sort this out. Come on. That's not it. Oh. 
I'm pregnant. Oh my god. <laughs> Silly girl. And now I've got a bastard child. Me, I wanted to bring him up. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I'm totally in. Come on. Sort this out, yeah? Sort this out together, alright? We sort this. <laughs> Come on, you're my best friend. Come on, Lil, it'll be alright. You're right. What am I going to do, Mim? What am I going to do with all my kids? I've got no one to look after him. Even me. Come on, come with me. Baby steps, come on, come on. I sort this. So we out. you want to do girl? Go in the women's war name yourselves, the Wrens they call them. Both got school leaving certificate. You do well in that. You both feel fit and healthy aren't you? Yeah, yeah, healthy. Yeah. I have a bit of a problem. Well it, it's Yeah, you're looking a bit worried. Yeah. It's not me you see. Oh. It's Lily. Mm -hmm. Um, well, she's got herself into a spot of body, you see. Yes. Now I heard, Mrs. Fidler, that, yes. that you can help. Yes, I do out. help girls out, girls who trouble, yes. Well, I wonder, could you help Lily out? Please. No, fuck on, is she? Well, it's just starting to show. Yeah, do a bit later. Well, she's so young, you see. She's, she's, she can be a bit silly sometimes. She makes mistakes. We don't know of anyone else that can do this. Who's? Her old man's away, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Been in Africa for two years. Yes, Mrs. Fitler. Come on, who's your father? I have to know. Well, it's someone that you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not Charlie from Tower Alex, is it? Uh, no, not, not Charlie, no. No? no. So we're a bit closer to home, is it? You could say that, Mrs. Fiddler. So, Maxwell Street. Round there. Mayor Street. I'm sorry, Mrs. Fiddler. We don't know who else to ask. It's Come on, girl, spit it out. Who is it? <laughs> it's Mr. Fiddler. Mr. My Mr. Fiddler. My Hampton. Yes. And he's gone off with this girl, Lily, I think. No, no, it's, it's just. She gets a pork chop from him sometimes and... Pork chop? Well, he's always had a knife for the ladies, but... I'm sorry, Mrs. Fiddler. Oh, yeah. There isn't anybody else. She doesn't love him. <laughs> Even I don't love him. Ruined my life, he has, all these years. No, I'll sort her out. I'll help her out. Yeah. Right, 13 Exmouth Street. Yes. Yeah. When? What, what day? Thursday night. Come round after blackout. Black is Newgate's knocker, no one will see her. Okay. And tell her to bring a bottle of gin. Okay? Thank you. Alright, love. No, we only words with Fiddler himself. I'll cut his shake himself and I'll try stop his fiddlers. He's not a good man, Mrs. Fiddler. No, I know that, love. Oh, I know that. Thank you. Okay.
They're coming, love. Come on. Is this one of my fiddlers' babies? No, I'm not. For all of it. How did you know? It doesn't matter. Who told you? It doesn't matter. Did you go for all of it? I'm sorry. Sorry. Thank God for that. What? You, you're happy? Of course. Really? I thought you didn't want me. Or us. Don't sit down, girl. Let me have that chair. Of course, I want you. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Come on. Is it the ass? Goddamn hole. That's it. Not too bad. A few weeks in the hospital. Now I don't have to go back to the front anymore. <laughs> oh, God, I've missed, missed you so much. I've missed you yeah. so much. So much, Charlie. Yeah. I've been thinking, I want to leave the bottle. Why? Let me pour you some tea. You must be so cold. You don't have to do that. I mean, I understand. I've earned money. 
Yes, but I want to think to about it. But I want you to be with me. Mm. I want you to be with me and run away with me. I was thinking of working for the patisserie. What do you think? <laughs> I want to be with you. I love you, Charlie. I always have. I came to say goodbye. What? Why? I had no idea you felt the same way. What do you mean? You want to be with me? Yes. Very much so. What do you mean? Why do you have to go? I can't do this. Why? I have a wife. I have a child. Sorry, it's not... I end it like this. Just... I want you to be happy, Charlie. I do. So, I'll, I'll try Please to write when I can. Please go. Dearest Wynn and Bess, guess what? Daddy's coming home. I've been hospital for a few months. Was hit by shrapnel. I should be able to walk again soon. God knows I've missed my girls. All my love to you both. I don't know why God chose me to come back to you and not so many others. So many of my friends are gone. I suffer from nightmares now. I'll come back and I'll make a decent living for us both. And a happy life. I'll wait for you more long and long. So there's these two ducks in a pond, and one goes quack, and the other one goes, what coincidence? I was just about to say that. <laughs> the one having an affair, my wife. What? I'm sorry. Americans. I'm sorry. I, uh, love her. Don't tell me you've just been having your way with her. She deserves more than that. Sorry. Yeah. I love her, I just want the best for her, I want her to be happy, I didn't want this to happen, or I didn't want her to get hurt, sorry. So since I've been back, she's been very unhappy. Both have. This thing, it's, it's changed us both. Sorry. She's always a big guy. But you, take care of her. Charlie, I can explain. No need to, really. I understand. Well, both together. I've uh, got someone waiting for me, so. Anyway, I had two of the girls down my shop that day. I gave one of them a box of homo. Yeah. I knew it was a bit of a snooty, but I'll keep it in a bit. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Hello, girl. Right. Hey, Wayne. Uh, we have a seat. Uh, we'd like a drink or something. Oh yes, please. Can I have a, a, a small glass of wine? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna go uh, get one a glass of wine. Oh, I got your bike. Look after yourself, boy. <laughs> and I'll tell you. I'll show you how a soldier gets a girl. I've got some fringes in his pocket. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> My man. Hello. So, how you been? Uh, same old. Just uh, training. Uh, lots of cold nights with. You know, beautiful lady to warm me up, give me a kiss at night, boost my morale. <laughs> well, you we have been trying for a long time. I have, and I think I'm well overdue for a kiss. Mm -hmm. Maybe tonight's your night. I hope so. I mean, like, I should have been owed some many, many times ago, so mm -hmm. it happens. Okay, right, I have to go to the ladies anyway. Oh, no, wait, wait, All wait, right. wait. Jen. Good, son. <laughs> yeah, Johnny French. He's
Right, hold that, nobody move. Because I'm up. The shipping is out soon, so... The only time we spent together has been a blast. I mean, you've really... You've really made me happy. I mean, I love this time that we spent together. I just, uh, I can't say it to you. I'll, I'll show you. in my hand. There's two. Oh, by the way, your little mate Benny Abrams. Yeah, what was he what doing about, poking around last night? What about my mate Benny? He was poking around last night and funny that I should find a box of oranges in the stock room. Uh, what you been snooping about in my stock room for? I've got to keep an eye on things, don't I? Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah. What's he got what? to do with Benny? What's he got to do with Benny? Yeah. The cops want to talk to him. Benny That's no, the word on the street. Benny's no grass. What would he grass about? Nothing, because he's got nothing to grass about. Really? You sure about that? Nothing. I'm not talking about it. 15 2, 15 4, 15 6, pairs 8, one for his knob. That's all it's ever been with you, isn't it? What? One for his knob. What are you talking about? One for your bleeding knob, yeah. Yeah? And? That's all it's ever been. I'm fed up with it. I've had enough of you, fiddler. Where are you going? I'll go back to Acne. Acne? Yeah. Why? You remember Solly? Oh, that front wheel. What does he want? He's going to get me back on the board at the Empire. Back in the board, you'll be sweeping them. No. You're going to get me back on the bill. Bill. Like no, I bill was before be I doing met you. Bill postering. Yeah. You look at me like that for? I keep you in a good life, I do, girl. Oh, do you? Yes, I do. I'll keep you in a good life. Yeah, well, you'll have to clear up your own little problems from now on. What little problems? You know what I'm talking about. And listen to me, old girl. Loose lips sink more than ships. Yeah. Where are you going? I went back to Hackney. I told you. Go then. Go. How are you going to get there? I'll get the bus. Bus? You got any money? I'll get some. Here you are. There's your fare. Half a bleeding crown. Yes. Why don't you get me a bleeding limehouse? Walk the breast in a bleeding way. Keep your bleeding off a crown. What have I done?
Hold that. Told me she was pregnant with my fiddler's baby. We got the dates wrong, didn't we? Are you sure about that? Yeah. Huh. Why don't you sod off and leave me alone, you fucking old oh, bag? What's happened to your elocution lessons, eh? Didn't do much good, did they? I was trying to make a better life for myself when I. I can't talk proper, not like you, can I? Huh. Just leave it out, will ya? Sod off. <laughs> Typical. Anyway, what are you are so upset about? I do care. Perhaps I do care, actually. There was a bomb drop this morning. Oh, yeah? On Wilson Avenue. Uh, don't we know it? I felt the blast. My best was playing, wasn't she? With the Joneses girl. Your little best? My is she all right? Come on, is she all right? Your little best. No, she ain't what? all right. What's she ain't all right. Oh my god. Oh no, love. Oh no, please come on. Just go What's away. Leave us alone. She's gone. What, you... They haven't managed to get her out yet. Is it? You know. I've been taking these lessons to make a better life for ourselves after the war. So I might be able to make some money to look after her. Because I ain't happy with Charlie. And you know what I was doing this morning? I was messing about with some bloody American again. And I sent her out to go and play. And she asked me, she goes, Mum, can I get some sweeties? And I said, no, you can wait till later. And I, I wish I'd given them to her. Just a couple of sweets, it's all, all she wanted. And if I had done, she wouldn't have got there at that time when that fucking bomb was dropped. Mrs. Fiddler. See, if you don't mind, just go.
go away, will you? Listen, love, the war's going to be over soon. And your Charlie's going to be back. I don't want Charlie. I want my daughter. I want my Bessie. She won't be back either, I'm afraid. It's my fault, isn't it? You can't blame yourself for it, though. It's not your fault we got this war, you know. So everyone keeps telling me. Anyway, we're going to win. Your Charlie will be back. And then you've got to start again. All right? You know... But you never mind these Americans. Those septics. They're no good. But it should have been me, not her. She had a whole life ahead of her. Well, She's wasn't... only a baby. I tell you what, suffer the children, Mrs Fiddler. Suffer the children. Yeah, the children do suffer. There's no reason not to go on. <laughs> go on, love. Do you want to come for a cup of tea? No. I'll go. Thank you.